From the 1920s up until the 1980s, the Catskills, the Borsfeld, was the playground for Jewish people. The Catskills had something for everybody. New York State is a vacation paradise. Bordering the west bank of the Hudson River are the Catskill Mountains, home of Rip Van Winkle. There's everything from horseback riding to swimming in the Catskills, to say nothing of the beautiful countryside, the lakes and streams. Smell the air. Smell it. I'll smell it. You satisfied? And Jewish people flocked up there because earlier there was nothing for the Jewish people to go to, so they created their own. The Catskills had the greatest concentration of resort hotels the world has ever seen. Neverly Country Club, Fallsview, Greenwich, Rolling, Tamarack, Kutch's Country Club. We have people who've been coming here 50 years. Simon said, walk to the place. Don't be scared. Enjoy life. We met all the celebrities, all the big stars used to come. Elizabeth Taylor, Winston Churchill. They all stayed at these hotels. Oh, oh, hey, mommy. This is the place. This is where all the excitement took place. This was big, fabulous, and wonderful. The Catskills were like a comedy college, like a breeding ground for comedians. Alan King's entire routine consisted of simply reading the obituaries. And the punchline was survived by his wife. <laughs> the food was endless. We had belly locks. We had Nova Scotia locks. We had regular herring, matches herring, herring and wine sauce. Everybody would complain about the food. Oh, the food stinks, and the portions are so small. If I look at all these trees, there's not a building, not a shred of anything left. It was a time. Never happened before and probably will never happen again.